Well, hey there, everybody. Rhonda Boyle here. I'm excited that you're joining me for this edition of Tips on How to Grow and Develop Your Strengths Finder Talent Themes. Today I'm talking about the talent theme of context. So, this is kind of a rare talent. Let me give you the trivia on that. Less than 9% of people who have taken the assessment, almost 17 million at the time of this recording, have context in their top five. It's the fifth least likely talent theme to show up at all in someone's top five. And so people high in context want the history, the backstory, what happened before. They've got to know that kind of information. And so here are some ways to grow and develop your context talent. If that's in your top five, number one, read histories and biographies of the past. With Context High, you really are all about understanding the past. And so historical fiction can make history come alive for you. Biographies can help you see a certain part of the story. And history books are gonna grow your understanding and your knowledge base of history and of who and what happened before. Tip number two, collect the past. Memorabilia could be your thing. Choosing to collect something from history gives you a tangible something uh, of the history, whether it's collecting snuff boxes or uh, World War II buttons or, or World War II paraphernalia and so forth, memorabilia, or maybe presidential buttons and things like that. Those are fun to collect. And guess what? Your collections will attract other collectors. And now you'll be able to build relationships with people around certain histories that you love. Tip number three, know the background. If you're starting a new project or starting a new company or a new job, be sure to check out the, the foundations of the company or the foundations of the project. What happened before? Get the full story. Learn about the founder or whose project idea it was or what they did before this new one that they're doing. Uh, that's going to help you boost your knowledge base and fill in the gaps for you so that you will be better grounded. All right, that'll help you dig in and learn more and exercise that context talent theme. Tip number four, choose a favorite time period in history and study up. You're going to become an expert or an authority in that very time period. And that'll give you confidence and help you grow into your, uh, grow your context talents. Now, learning about a certain time and finding out the different angles to it and so forth and learning from different experts will give you fresh perspectives on that time period and again, go in to making you an expert. Tip number five, join in. Find a club or an association or a group that is uh, passionate around the things that you are, around the certain time periods of history and so forth. And uh, if you can't find one local, look for one online. You can find all sorts of things like that through social media. Uh, and that'll provide you opportunities to hang out with like-minded people who are interested in the same thing so that y'all can share uh, information and experience. Great, now tip number six, Take advantage of digital opportunities. So watch videos, watch uh, the History Channel, watch the, uh, the, the Discovery Channel, HGTV. These are all channels that can help you really understand how things work and give you more of that backstory that you are uh, looking for. I've even seen one where they track a loaf of bread all the way back to the wheat field. And so those are things that you find highly interested in and that's where you need to spend some of your time. Tip number seven, share the past. The rest of us are actually counting on you to remind us what happened before, even though we might be frustrated by the information. And use your words. Remind people at the meeting that you're not trying to be annoying, that you are just providing the backstory, which is what context is supposed to do. So there you go. There are seven tips to grow and develop your StrengthsFinder talent theme of context. Real quick, I'll go over them again. Read histories. Number two, collect the past. Number three, know your background and do research there. Number four, choose a favorite time period. 
Number five, join in with clubs and organizations. Uh, number six, watch digital, video, and so forth material. And number seven, share the past and what you know with other people people. We're counting on you. All right. Well, there you go. That's seven ways for you to grow and develop your StrengthsFinder talent theme of context. Thanks for joining me. This is Rhonda Boyle, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.